Okay, so this is very similar to the in-order pre-order traversal, except this time we're starting from the right-hand side, which is the end of the post-order. So we begin by, by finding the first value, which is W. This will be the head of our tree, or the root, right? So then we go to the in-order, and we find where W is. And we're going to remove it from here, because we finished with it. Alright, what we need to note is that everything to the left of W goes on the left hand side of the tree and everything to the right of W will go to the right hand side of the tree. And this is a process you're going to keep repeating for each value found in the post order section. So what I mean by that is if you take V, you look to see where V is here and you'll see that V is to the right of the parent node which is W. W is V's parent node. So V being to the right of it, you're going to put V to the right. Right, and now you're going to remove V. And we have to look at now is that everything to the left of V, which is nothing actually, and there are things to the right of it. So everything now will go to the right of V. Right? So if we take the next value, C, we'd see we'd look for Z and see which part it is to the parent node. The parent node of Z is V right because as the next one I'm going here and it is to the right of V so we put Z to the right of V cool so now we remove Z the next val the next well the next value is R right so we look to see who is the parent node of R right in this case the parent node of R is Z so and R is to the left of Z so we put R to the left of Z alright so we take R and we remove R now we'll see that R has one element to the left and one element to the right so if you take D from here you look to see who is the parent node of D which is R and D is to the right of R alright and you remove D you look for the next value C. It's the parent element of C is R. So you put C to the left of R because it's the left of R. Right. So now we notice that everything to the right of W is complete. There are nothing else on this side of the tree. And now that we are going to do the left side of the tree now. So we take the first the next value in the post order X and we look to see where x is now the parent of x now is w and x is to the left of its parent which is w so right so now we see these values to the left of x and these values to the right of x so now we take the next value g right so we look to see who g's parent is g's parent is x so we put g to the right of x because, of, because in the in order it is to the right so all right so now we see g um sorry x has nothing else to the right and everything else to the left so everything we're going to put now will be to the left of x all right so we look for the next value in the post order which is a and we see a here so a is to the left of x so we put a here all right so we remove a from here we'd see that A has three values to the right. So everything we're going to put after A now will go to the right. So we take B, we see B here, B is to the right of A, so we put B here. Right. So we take B here, and we see that B has two elements, one to the left and one to the right. So we take the next value S, and we see S is to the right of B. and right right so we remove s s has none to the left and none to the right so then we go on to the next element l we see that l is to the right of is to the left of b sorry so we put l and that's it so if you want to check back your answer just simply do the normal post order traversal which is you start from the furthest left and you go left right parent so We'll go left right parent in this case to find out the answer and we could do this easily by say there's none to the left of a so we start from the right of a which is l g b l s b which is l s b 
a g x which is the same thing here g x and we do the same thing on the right hand side of the tree nothing to the left of v so we go straight to the right of v so we go to c d r which is the same thing as c d r none to the right here so we go straight back up to z we go up to v and then back up to w that's just the normal post order traversal